I'm Tia Borden with Mining IR. Beside me are Tuan and Jake of Sacre Davy Engineering. You guys are not a mining company. You're an engineering firm, which is different than what we've seen here today. No, we're, we're definitely not a mining company. We do work, get to work with a lot of mining companies, juniors and majors as well. And what are you doing here at PDAC? What are you hoping to gain from being at this 2022 conference now that it's back in person? Well, I think the biggest thing is to see what we can contribute to the mining industry in terms of our services that we provide as an engineering company and how we can better the industry overall. And what are some of the projects that you're working on or some of the things that you're looking to gain from being here that you're, are, that you're able to focus on when you leave this conference today? Yeah, we're working on several projects with major companies. Um, one uh, Jay can talk to is, is Sabina Gold and Silver. They're a project up in Nunavut. Uh, so we're helping them with detailed engineering, procurement, construction management. We're working with some other majors in terms of ore sorting. They're looking at how do they improve the grade of their ore and reduce the, the risk on the project. So a lot of these companies, they're looking at, um, you know, they have a fixed footprint in terms of their mill size and throughput. So we're looking at how to utilize ore sorting to improve the grade, reduce the waste rock, reduce transportation costs of, of material ore. And ore sorting is one of the ways that we've helped juniors and majors, you know, optimize their the mill and the, at the end of the day, their valuations. And for those investors who don't know what ore sorting, it, sorting is, sorry, what is it? So ore sorting essentially involves the use of X-ray technology to scan the rock so that you can see what's in the rock before it even goes into the mill. And this allows you to differentiate between waste and, and valuable product before, before it actually gets processed. So this allows you to significantly reduce your processing, you know, uh, effort in the mill substantially. And why should investors come to you? At the end of the day, it's about getting payback, return on investment, investing in you know, high value projects. So when we work on these projects, we're looking at how do you increase the grade? And at the end of the day, that increases the valuation. How do you reduce the, the mill footprint? How do you reduce CapEx? And all that ties into getting a better return on investment. And at the end of the day, I think you know, investors are looking for de-risking projects and getting bit more, you know, better returns on their money. And what are some of the, say, challenges or successes that you'd like to highlight? I think uh, some of the successes that I would like to highlight, especially in the, in the hydrogen space, is that Sacred as a company has dealt with hydrogen for many years, and we are seeing it being applied in many industries, and even in mining, actually, right now, in terms of displacing traditional energy forms. So we see that as a major success in, in, in applying hydrogen to the industry, you know. If I can add to that, yes, that there's a lot of focus in these mining companies looking at ESG, carbon reduction, um, and net zero targets. So we do a lot of work in renewable space, hydrogen space, or sorting uh, definitely supports that narrative as well to reduce waste and reduce the, the environmental footprint. Is there anything else that you'd like to leave our viewers with before I let you go? No, oh, it's, it's really great to be back after the COVID and uh, you know see so many people and see, see a lot of activity and life in the mining industry. And uh, we look forward to a good future. <laughs> Things are booming again. It is so nice to be back in person talking to you guys right beside you. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the show.